Bruce, we've had uh, a little bit of respite when it comes to yen volatility after the verbal jawboning. So why are there expectations that we're going to start seeing bigger moves again? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, and the key thing, thing to look out for here is uh, options trading. So risk-sensitive currencies like the Aussie and the Kiwi tend to have a higher vol compared to the likes of the yen. Uh, but a close look at options trades uh, flowing through show that traders are betting that the yen can still move uh, the most over the next month. And the uh, key reason for that is that the yen has weakened so much so quickly in the past few weeks and investors may have little choice but to sort of buy into the yen rallies. So that's the key thrust as to why there can be a pickup in vol, purely a technical trade. And bets on this have surpassed, obviously, movements in the likes of the Aussie and the Scandinavian currencies as well. Is it all to do with rate differentials at this point? What's driving the yen towards a 20-year low against the dollar? Yeah, yen bulls just can't catch a break if there are many of them or any of them left in the current mm. markets. And yes, you're absolutely right. It does come down to the rate differential story and how dovish the Bank of Japan is compared to the rest of the developed market world, where you have the Fed, for example, already hiking to tame the fastest inflation in 40-odd uh, years. So as that divergent uh, continues to ripple through markets, we'll continue to see yen weakness most likely. As uh, Society General, for instance, says that the yen could fall to as low as 150 against the dollar. We're hearing from the former BOJ director, Hideo Hayakawa, saying that a widening interest rate gap between Japan and the US, as Sherry just mentioned, is likely to create that upward pressure on long-term rates and the currency. So if direct intervention in the market isn't really an option, what are some of the, the, the policy response uh, options that are available? And for that, I would suggest actually going through some of the stories that we've written, but some of the things that can happen is a verbal intervention, obviously, is one of them. And also um, key to all of this is still JGB yields and how the Bank of Japan may be able to wrestle it and intervene in bond markets like they did just two weeks ago by, um, you know, buying bonds for a consecutive number of days, unlimited amounts. Um, uh, over a period of time in order to wrestle down yields lower and that puts uh, less pressure as well across other parts of the market.